Hey, what's good? We're going to say Shalom. All praises to Yahweh. Ba'ashem. Yahweh Shai. Ba'ashem. Rekak Dash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the Akim. Teaching the gospel like you're supposed to. Hey, we was commanded to teach his word on the streets. Man, but we about to finna go into these thieving ass bastards out here. Cause look, we got this camera set up on this little, uh, what is this? I know it's a wall. Cause somebody stole our fucking tripod out of the car. Fucking assholes. And then look, we went to park. We went to park. And we just put money in the meter. I put three quarters in it. That cost 40, what is that? Three, 75 cents for 45 minutes. And I started putting more money in it. And the meter wouldn't even go up, bro. That's fucked up. So we getting we getting robbed out here. Esau robbing us with the meters. We put all kind of money in the meter. They didn't even put their card in it. So they probably took 50 out your bank Yeah, we somebody legit saw, just stole our tripod out of the car. Fucking asshole, bro. I mean, I know that ain't nothing. You get one for five dollars at the thrift store. But these people there. Yeah, demons, bro. The stealing. I ain't never had in my spirit just go stealing shit from people. All going up in people's cars and shit, scavenging for change. They're all a bunch of bums. Jose Lord one said, Hear the word of Yahweh, the children of Israel, the Yahweh uh, have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. Because there is no truth, no mercy, no knowledge of God in the land by swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, they break out in blood touching blood. Yeah, these, that's why these people don't know how to act right. There's no knowledge of the Lord in the land out here. Ain't nobody following the commandments. Oh, you see all the killings in Columbus? Bro, this last night there was like seven shootings last night. You know, they already got like 20 fatalities out here. They just started a new year, you know what I mean? Cause ain't nobody got the knowledge of the Lord. They not being raised up on the commandments like that is supposed to be. Parents ain't teaching their children right. Shit, the parents is just as bad as the children. A bunch of goddamn thieves. Stealing. That's some dirty shit somebody steals from you. Therefore the land mourn and everyone that dwell of therein shall languish with the beasts of the field and with the fowls of heaven. They the fishes of the sea also shall be taken away. And that's why you see them the death and destruction going on the earth right now, you got all you damn plague. These people are wicked as fuck, man. Wicked. You just do wickedness just to be wicked. Like, there's no need to steal. You can go to they got pantries and shit. Uh, you know what I'm saying? People give out food and clothing and shit. Like I said, it's just like programs to help poor people and shit. I don't want to take that. That's what I'm with it. That's what I'm with that. Like I said, that's what I'm with all these plagues, all these wars. People are utterly with it. You're with it, goddamn children. I know, I see, I see whole families of thieves, you know, that parents raise their children and steal shit. That's how they get all their stuff. They go steal and rob with you. And why do you think you gotta have locks on your doors, you know? Why do they even have to invent a lock? You shouldn't even have to use a mechanism called a lock. It's just these motherfuckers are still everything. Can you imagine if you just left your house for the weekend and left your door unlocked? You come back, everything gone, bro. That's why if you drop some money, nine times out of ten, they, somebody gonna pick it up and stick it in their pocket. You know what I mean? It, it's rare to see somebody like, hey, you just dropped some money, you know? Some people will do it, though. Some people's honest. That's a rare trait, though. Uh, yeah, so I'm do this. This is a real quick one. That Jeremiah 4.22. It says, For my people is foolish. They have not known me. 
They are sad as children and they have none understanding. They're wise to do evil, but to do good they have no knowledge. Right, that's all these, they wise to do evil, but they have, they got no wisdom of doing good at all. They ain't trying to do good, they're not trying to help you. Trust ye not in his brother, for every brother will utterly perform, and every neighbor will walk with slanders. And they will deceive everyone his neighbor, and will not speak the truth. Oh, they will not speak the truth. Ain't nobody speaking truth out here. Because they have taught their tongue to speak lies, and they weary themselves to commit the liquor. Uh, and the habitations in the midst of the sea, in the sea they refuse to know me, said thou, therefore, but said that I will hold the old, I will melt them and try them. How shall I do for the daughter of my people? The tongue is an arrow shot out, it speaketh deceit. One speaketh one speaking peacefully to his neighbor with his mouth, but his heart and led his way. That's how these people do the I love you, fam. Love you, bro. And, you, know, you gotta watch people like that. Talking about I love you, bro. I love my fam. I love my people. <laughs> that's the people you gotta watch out for. Oh, that's my sister. What's up, sister? What's up, brothers? It's the guy that's always coming around, you know, being super nice to everybody. You gotta watch out for a guy like that. Everybody showing their favorite shit and being nice to you. So they can get so they can get something out of something out of you, you know what I'm saying? Nope. Not a lot of people don't even do it just for seriously trying to be nice, trying to be Kind. They do that just so I can, so you can owe them a favor. Yep, so they can look good in front of everybody. Like, oh, he's such a nice guy. Yeah, that's just watching some video. I was watching some Christian video, bro. It had some uh, street preacher. He was on the streets, so-called healing people, casting demons out of people. You know, <laughs> he was doing it to be seen to men, you know what I mean? And obviously, he didn't heal nobody. He put his hand on the dude, dude just started shaking and shit. Fuck out of here. <laughs> like, that's how the politicians do it. They always get on TV and tell you, how much money they donated to charity. Or you see athletes do that. They'll make it, you know, they'll go on the news and brag about how they gave to charity. The scriptures say you're not supposed to do that. That's in Matthew what? Matthew, Matthew the fifth chapter, the sixth chapter. That's Matthew six. Yeah, you're not supposed to do your alms before men. I mean, you know, alms meaning charity, gifts. Like I said, because a lot of people, they only helping the poor people out or helping people out because they want to look good in the sight of the men. And they're actually doing it for their taxes. They get a tax break for this shit. Go ahead. It says, to be seen of you. Otherwise, you have no reward of your father which is in heaven. So if you wanted them people, oh, you've seen them videos on, uh, on social media, they'll have somebody... Uh, Buying somebody a pair of shoes or a coat or giving a homeless guy money. And they put it on Facebook and Instagram and everything. And everybody on the comment board is like, oh, this guy is such a good guy. We need more of this. But every once in a while, you see that one guy come up there and he'll bust that scripture out. And you're like, that's against the Bible. You know, If you're going to help people, just keep it to yourself. You're going to be bragging about it. If you, once you start bragging about it, your, your good deed was done in vain. People always quick to brag about shit too, ain't they? 
A lot, some stuff you gotta keep to yourself, man. Why are you helping somebody? You're helping somebody because they need help. It ain't got nothing to do with you. It's got to do with them needing help. Everybody always want to, uh, what's the big themselves? What's that word? They want to make themselves look good. What's the word I'm looking for? They all puffed up. They want to enlarge themselves. Therefore, when thou doest thy arms, do not sound a trumpet before thee as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets. Right, in the churches they do that. They'll pass out money in the churches, you know, so everybody can see it. That's all. Go ahead. Right, they want to get glory of men, like on the social media videos. There's all kind of videos where people's helping people on camera, and they just doing it for likes and shares. You know, the women fall for that. The women fall for that shit. Oh, he's such a nice guy. You know, he's just doing it just to be seen in men. Go ahead. See? So the most high sees everything that you do. You ain't gotta go bragging about it. The most high sees it. Most high see everything. Down, you what is that? He just shall be first, shall be last. Yeah, the guy that always want to be first, he always want to look good. You know, he's go, he's the guy that's going to end up last on the bottom in the kingdom. Let me get that scripture. Uh, I was just thinking about that Daniel. It's the last one. Thirty says. Exalt not thyself, lest thy fall, and bring dishonor upon thy soul. So God has thy that secret, and it down in the midst of the congregation, because thou could not uh, in truth to the, uh, because thou feignest not in the truth to the fear of the Lord, but thy heart is full of the truth. And like, like, you know, like, that's, that's the law. You're supposed to get to the poor, you know what I'm saying, of uh, the, uh, the, the, the people. But some people, they don't do that because they fear the Lord. Oh, I got to do this because the Lord told me to do it. And plus, I care for this person. They do that so they can, oh, look at me. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm such a kind person, whatever. Fuck. But people, and people that be doing that shit, they the most, they the most pieces of shit people on the earth. Really? You know what I'm saying? They, they don't give a fuck about the poor person out there in the streets. yourself in public with everybody, we're going to cast you down before everybody, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was trying to find some scriptures. Um, where's the bunch? I can't really think where I want to get it. Well, here's the one. Well, go back to that Matthew 6. Let me just go into that. I just made a video of Matthew 6, like, last week. Because really, when you go through Matthew, the sixth chapter, <laughs> this breaks down the church step by step. It, well, it shows you how, like, the churches do everything opposite of the Bible. Anything the Bible says to do, they do the opposite. I mean, where do they do shit like that at? The churches? You would think the church would follow the Bible, right? Nope, you're mistaken. You're mistaken. They do... The Bible says something, they do the opposite. Oh, yeah, go through all that. Uh, they just go through it. I just started, just started after the home story. My friend, I started not to be asked to hit the Oh, when thou prayest, 
So this is how you're supposed to pray. You're not supposed to pray like a hypocrite. Hypocrite, go ahead. But he loves to pray standing in the synagogue in the corner of the street. Where they may be seen of men. Right, right. people always, there it goes again. People always want to be seen of men. That's why when people pray, they always have a group prayer. Everybody come together, get the group hug. Oh, when you go to church, what do they do? It said, don't be like those that pray standing in the synagogues. Like, it's like a church nowadays. When you go to church, what do you do? Everybody stand. Everybody pray. And everybody pray together at the same time. Where's that at in the scripture? Keep going. Oh, go ahead. Uh, who's that one bitch? Uh, I think she's like a football player's wife, whatever. I guess the dude, he got supposed uh, rumors of him cheating on her. Cheating on her with some uh, one actor bitch. Anyways, uh, uh, she was uh, she making a video on it. You know what I'm saying about it, whatever. She was like praying on a camera and shit. Like, that bitch, that's supposed to be between you and the Lord. You ain't supposed to be praying about it. Making, you just making videos. You can feel bad. Yeah, they always do that. Like, social media is the worst now. Now they get on that shit. Doing their bullshit on their little live streams. How can you record every goddamn thing? Like, goddamn. Like, I know. Everything, everything is a fucking post. Yeah. It's all worthless. I heard somebody make a good comparison. They said checking, checking Facebook is like checking a refrigerator. You keep checking it, but nothing's there. You know, it's like ain't nothing on there but a bunch of dumbass bitches. Bitches go live, and you click on the live video, she's just staring at the camera. These people don't deserve technology, man. They don't deserve it. The technology is made for us. You're supposed to use this technology to, you know, to learn. You know, for education and learning and wisdom. These people use the technology to be dumbasses. You know what I mean? Live streaming. Every time they go to a restaurant, they got goddamn McDonald's. Oh, got a live stream. What we eat? I got a double cheeseburger. You ain't edifying nobody with that video. See, we make videos, we edify them. We teach it. They making videos about foolishness. They'll, they'll go live on Instagram just to smoke a blunt. Like, oh, I'm smoking weed. Yeah. Fucking wait to end that shut down. That's that's how that tells you how worthless people are. People are oh, sorry. Oh no, you good? You good? You good? You good. Because these people, like the script says, they born in vain. Because it's like, what is y'all? What is y'all to do? The like script says, uh, out of your mouth uh, is the treasure of your heart. Yeah. So whatever you think and whatever is inside you, you speak. That's what's inside. That's what you speak or whatever. So these people are speaking nothing but worthless shit. Like, what is y'all even good for? All right, you go on a woman's social media account. It ain't nothing but selfies, like thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands. A fucking selfie. You know what I mean? What is that? That's a that's a waste of internet. You know what I mean? That's a waste of space, man. That's a waste of data. Fuck out of here. People are hopeless, man. It says, uh, it says, uh, really, I say unto you, they have the reward. But thou, when thou prays, enter into that closet. So when you pray, you're supposed to enter that closet. You don't mean to actually go in a closet, but it means to be in secret. You're in the closet. <laughs> in the closet. <laughs> Man, so pra praying is something, you know, personal between you and the Most High. I ain't gonna What do I look like? Come on, come on, brother. Let's pray today. Come on, come on, come on. We're gonna bring it in, we're gonna give him a hug, we're gonna pray together. I'm gonna I'm hug him, I'm gonna put my hand on his head, I'm gonna put, get out of here, man. Now I can see if somebody was sick, you know what I mean? You can pray, you can pray out somebody if they sick, you can do that. But don't be doing it just to, so everybody can see you doing it, you know? But the scriptures do talk about that, like if somebody's sick, you can pour, uh, anoint the brother with some oil and then pray over him, you can do that. And you got the prayer in uh, Numbers the fifth chapter, right? Six. Six. Six? Yeah.
sent that door of faith to my father, which is the secret. And my father received the secret, which I reward the opening. But when you pray, it goes to the Lord's prayer. Yeah, let's read that. It says, uh, when you pray, use not vain but repetitions. When you pray, don't use vain repetitions. That's what these people be, bro. They just be much speaking. All right, let's talk about it. Go ahead. All right, you ever sit to one of the long ass prayers, bro? You ever go to an event or like or one of the meals or something? You know, we got one of the big ass, like in the homeless meal. You know, we go to. This is meal we go to in uh. Bro, this what do what are you thinking of? But sometimes they just get people praying, bro, and the prayer be long as hell. They just praying and be like, Lord, protect my uncle and my auntie. Lord. They, they're praying, they just praying, just, they got an hour long prayer, you just praying that it's over. I read that, did that scripture go into that? When I pray, it's, uh, it's like, yeah, when I pray, you cannot vain repetitions as the Hebrew do. Don't use vain repetitions, go ahead. For they think that they should be heard for the much speaking. They think you're going to be heard for your much speaking. You know what I mean? Go ahead, because I think you said it right here. All right, obviously the most high already knows what you need before you even ask it. You know what I mean? So really you should be you should be uh fearing the Lord when you pray to him. You know, that's a serious matter. When you pray to the Lord, it, you don't want to put mixing no foolishness in with praying to the Lord. Or asking the Lord for no dumbass shit. You know what I mean? When you're praying to the Lord, you're supposed to humble yourself, man. And keep it short. Don't be sitting there with your hour-long prayer. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah this is the Lord's Prayer. So a, hollow, a holy, the hollow means holy. So the Lord's name is holy. And what's the Most High's name? The Most High's name is Yahweh. That's a whole. His name's not Lord. It's not God. His name's Yahweh, and his son's name's Yahweh Shai. Okay. And you. And the name is important. It says his name is holy. Go ahead. So he said, "Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done." So you. The first thing you're supposed to pray for is that the Lord's kingdom come. How many uh, how many Christians you ever hear with a long ass prayer? Did they ever mention the kingdom? Unless they said the Lord's prayer and they didn't understand the meaning of it. But in one of the improv prayers, did they ever pray for the kingdom to come? I ain't never heard it. They just praying the Lord bless the food, bless bless everybody. They they asking the Lord to bless everybody, but they never praying for the kingdom to come. I ain't never heard. The only time I've ever heard anyone pray for the kingdom is when they said the Lord's Prayer. But they just saying it out of memorization. They not saying it because they believe in them words, you know. They got they got the Lord's Prayer memorized, but they don't comprehend it. Because when you say the Lord's Prayer, you praying that the kingdom comes, and that's the, the kingdom gonna be on earth. And that means for the Lord's kingdom to come, that means America gotta be destroyed. All these current kingdoms they all gotta be destroyed they're gonna be toppled the lord gonna he's gonna destroy this shit the lord gonna destroy america and then his kingdom gonna come and that's what we're praying for go ahead i'll give us this day our daily bread and say to pray to the lord for a new job and pray to the lord for a ferrari and a lambo you praying to the lord you know what i mean oh let me hit the lottery lord you know you got people that pray. They at the crap table. Oh, sweet Jesus. Come on, give it to me. You know? <laughs> you see, motherfuckers, they be praying at the slot machines. They always praying for money. Shit, you pray for money and the Lord might take all your money from you. Go ahead.
Right, you're supposed to pray the Lord don't lead you into temptation. Talking about sin. So you ain't falling out the truth. You know what I Exalted himself shall be abased, but he will be brought low. He that humbles himself shall be exalted. Right? You're supposed to be humble. Like when you come, when we're out here teaching, and people come up, we talk to people, and when we correct the people, we teach them in the right way. They're supposed to humble themselves and listen. But you got people, like, you know, they come up, they'll start exalting themselves. Like, oh, y'all don't know the scriptures. I know everything. No, the Bible's bullshit. You know what I mean? Or then you have guys in the truth. They teach them. They know. Well, they claim they know the scriptures, and they they giving themselves lavish titles like commanding. What's that your boy? Commanding general Yahana. You know he is exalting himself, calling himself a general. You a general? Man, you got no army. Okay. You exalting yourself? You gonna be a base? You know what I mean? There's a lot of guys out there It's like that. You know, they always want to exalt themselves. They want to be the great grand leader. That's why you got a lot of guys always giving them, they get, notice they give themselves the title, Chief High Priest. How many Chief High Priests are there? There's all kind of High Priest on YouTube, which is the real High Priest. None of you. Ain't none of y'all. Oh, see, he got exalted himself. They call themselves High Priest. You want to be high, okay. You're going to be brought low. And thou makest a dinner or supper, call not thy friends, not thy brother, neither thy kinsmen, nor thy rich neighbor. They also will be again, and a recompense be made thee. But when thou makest a feast, call the poor, the maimed, the lame, the blind. Thou shalt be blessed, for they cannot recompense thee, for thou shalt be recompensed at the resurrection of the just. What's that? That's speaking of the upper room, too. Where you at? 14? I think that's in Luke 23. I said Luke 23, Matthew 23. I thought that was in. In that scripture too, when it says he the one's the upper room. So that's what yeah, was the lower room. Did you already read that part? Yeah, it says something like that. It might say it different than Matthew.
There's another one though. No, the upper one. I know it's the blue. But ah, shit. Sorry, y'all. I'm trying to get the scripture. People watching the video, they're like, hurry up. Oh, right here. I knew that, man. Let's read all this. Matthew 23 and 1. This spake Yahweh shot to the multitude and to the disciples, saying, The scribes and Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. Oh, uh, you got a lot of people who think they sit in Moses' seat together, right? Like people calling themselves commanding general and high priest and all these other names. Y'all y'all think y'all, you know what I'm saying? Like y'all the leader. Y'all ain't the leader. You're the leader of hell. Said, all therefore whatsoever they bid you to observe, that observe and do, but do not ye after their works, for they say and do not. That's a lot of guys do that. Bunch of hypocrites. Look, for they bind heavy burdens and grievous to be borne and lay on men's shoulders, but they themselves would not move them with one of their fingers. All right, because you're going to have guys, they're going to pretend like they're the holiest of the holy. They pretend like they're keeping all the laws. You know, but, you know, and they real hard on guys that's underneath of them. You know, all, you know what I'm saying? Just being an asshole to everybody. But here it is, in secret, this guy's just a real demon and don't even, he don't really care about the commandments of that, you know? It said, but, uh, but all their works they do to be seen in men. That's a lot of guys in the Israelite groups are like that. They just want to be seen in men. And that's why they'll, they'll get the top-notch production quality in the videos. Got the 3D intro. You know what I'm saying? They don't hire graphic artists to do the intro scene. Everybody, they going to have the rap music. They're going to have a trap beat on the video. You know what I mean? They just want to try to make the video as fly as possible. But they just want to look good in the sight of men. You know, they're all wearing these all fancy garments. They've got all these fancy clothes. You got dudes going out teaching with staves and scepters. You know what I'm saying? You got what championship belts on. <laughs> what about your boys that wear the spikes, bro? What scriptures say you got wearing spikes? You see that scripture? You got Israelites who go out teaching looking like demolition or the road warriors. <laughs> Oh, but all their works they do to be seen of men, they make broad their phylacteries and the large abhorrence of their garments, and love the uppermost rooms at feasts and the chief seats in the synagogue. All right, they, that's what I wanted. They, they love the upper room. They, they want to sit in the chief seats, right? They want to sit at this table where all the top guys are at, all the hot shots, you know? People, you know, they got a, that's a vain thing. That's a vain, that's a vain imagination. Thinking that you hot fire, you know what I mean? Now you see the John the Baptist is a good example. You look at John the Baptist. He was, he was out in the wilderness, bro, eating locusts and honey. Wearing sheep skins and goat skins. You know, they was making fun of him. Well, they making fun of him. Remember, because they, uh, what's that, Matthew 11? They said, what you go out to see? They said, uh, what's that? They said gay clothing is in king's houses or something like that. Let me get that real quick. I forget the exact word. Let me Because John the Baptist wasn't no man pleaser. He was rough and rugged. He wasn't wearing them nice garments. All right, this is talking about John the Baptist, Matthew 11 and 7. As they departed, Yahweh began to say unto the multitude concerning John, What went ye out to the wilderness to see? A reed shaken with the wind? But what went ye out to see? A man clothed in soft raiment? Behold, they that wear soft clothing are in king's houses. So, right, John the Baptist means soft clothing means, you know, like real nice garments, you know, looking on dressing on. He was, he was Dress rough. It's like Hebrews the eleventh chapter tells you the prophets wondered about destitute. They wondered about let me get that. 
that real quick. A lot of you uh, so-called Israelites out there teaching, y'all don't fit the description of the prophet. Y'all fit the description of the Pharisees, the wicked Pharisees. Where does it say? Uh, 11 and 16. I got the 11 chapter. Oh, here I got it. I got it. Uh, what is it? This is talking about the prophets. I'm just going to go into it. Uh, this is talking about, I ain't not going to read the whole chapter. But this is talking about the prophets. Uh, Hebrews 11 and 36. And others had trial of cruel mockings and scourgings, yea, moreover of bonds and imprisonment. They were stoned, they were sawn asunder, were tempted, were slain with the sword. They wandered about in sheepskins and goatskins, being destitute, afflicted, and tormented, of whom the world was not worthy. That's a, that's a good thing. Of whom the world, the world, the, really the world is not worthy of us. I mean, not try to put us on a high level. They gonna call us hypocrites. The world is not worthy of the real prophets, man. The world, they just make fun of us anyway. You know, just like they made, they made fun of the prophets back in the ancient world. They made fun of I, shit. They, they killed the prophets. Outside, you know, he was he was you know, pretty much the king of Israel, but he didn't go around getting just in purple. That's why all you see they try to say all the word purple. But the Romans, they when they was torturing him, shit, they put the purple on them to mock him. But that just shows the Lord is humble. He ain't, he ain't uh, even though he was the son of God, he wasn't walking around thinking he was better than everybody. He was serving, he was serving the, uh, the, the disciples, he was watching the disciples. He was, that's why he said the first shall be last and the last shall be first. Okay. You, know, you always got people who want to be the top guy, man. They always want to be the best. These people, these people are vain, bro. They vain as hell. Israelite groups, they make fun of our garments that we wear. Like IUIC make fun of us. But really, they should have been the ones made fun of because y'all the ones wasting all your money. The garments they wear gotta be expensive as hell. And they ugly as fuck. They ugly purple. Where in the scripture did I ever say to wear purple? Never. It really looks tacky as fuck. You trying, you trying, to, look, you trying to look all royal. All that, you, got, you don't got no real gold on this shit. This shit trash. You know what I'm saying? And they got the purple and the old gold. That's fraternity colors. Actually, I made a video on it. I think I got deleted. Remember that? Did you see that video I made? I was doing research on fraternity. Oh, yeah. I forget what fraternity. I got to go back. That was so long ago. Yeah, IUIC wears fraternity colors. Purple. Just do a word search on purple and old gold fraternity colors. Do a search on that. The bee is little among such as, as flies, but her fruit is the chief of sweet things. To boast not of thy clothes in the remnant, and exalt not thyself in the day of honor, for the works of the Lord are wonderful, and his works among men are hidden. Right, uh, many, 
each have sat down upon the ground, and one that was never thought of have worn the crown. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. I put my face in the that shit in there. Not shit, but I put it in the Yeah. I'm gonna read that for you. Many kings have sat down upon the ground. Jesus, many kings have been sat upon the ground. Lord. This is not true. The Lord, made, the Lord have humbled a lot of kings that have been on a high pitch, like uh, going back to King David. And King Saul, he, and King Saul, he was a king, he was exalted. And the Lord fucking brought him down to the ground. And, and it says, it says, the one that never thought of have won the crown. Nobody thought King David would won the crown. You know what I'm saying? It was making, uh, fucking, the life was making fun of him. Like, who's this? He a dog. I mean, my dog, he's going to breed a little boy to me, so on and so forth. But hey, he still slayed him. Says, uh, and that's it. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I was trying to find that scripture where they try to make the Six and fifteen. John six and fifteen. All right. Uh, actually, okay. John six and fifteen. When Yahweh saw therefore perceived that they would come and take him by force to make him a king, he departed again into a mountain himself alone. <laughs> So yeah, the Israelites, they was trying to make Yahweh Shai the king. I mean, he was the king, actually, but they was, going, they was really trying to put him in power. Like, this is our king. He's like, nah, bruh, I'm up out of there. He dipped on him. That's how you, oh, that's why he said what? My kingdom is not of this world. That's John 14, which actually links up to that Hebrew we just read. What that Hebrew said? Hebrews 11 said that the world is not worthy of the prophets. That this world is not worthy to hear the world. You know, not, not everybody in the world, but obviously two-thirds of these demons. But the world is not worthy of the prophets. Just like the world, the Lord said in John, what is that, John? Israelites. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on, spit the word out. Let's go. 1 800 7977 I really do want to hear. I'm going to tell you about what's her name? Because I'm getting ready to call a lot of stuff. What's her name? Out. Go ahead. Let's I want to hear it. What's her name? What is it? Joan? Joan? Is that? She's one of the people in the body. Miss Novell herself. Miss Novell. Who's that? Uh. Where was she? Read that scripture again. Go ahead. Go ahead. Miss Novell herself. I want to hear it. We're talking about, you know, being humble and so on and so forth. Uh huh. It's Miss Novell herself. It says, Sirach 10. Uh, Started seven says, uh, Pride is hateful before God and men, and by both, and by both does one commit iniquity because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches. Hold on, take it back. You said iniquity. Go back, go back. Yeah. Yeah. All right, what's the what's the meaning of iniquity? I mean, it's pretty much sin. Okay. Doing, doing In, iniquity. Yeah, iniquity. Yeah, iniquity. Oh, iniquity. Yeah, iniquity. It's like the opposite. Iniquity. iniquity. Excuse me for my in, 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 iniquity. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that, like like if you look at a woman and you look at her with lust, that's an iniquity, right? A married woman. Yeah. Woman, period. Nah. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Nah. Cause, cause that, that, cause how how is you supposed to? How are you supposed to ever get a woman if you can't if you can't look at her like, oh, that looks good? So this is off the Hebrew, right? Iniquity. Okay. Period. But there's many scriptures where, yeah. like, somebody it's in the Bible, the Hebrew. somebody in the Bible look at a woman. And he okay. said, he said he desired it. Oh yeah, he, he desired. Look at that. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm listening to you. But I mean, every, every point is important. This is my book. 
allowed to hit it from the back, you're not allowed to have sex. What are you supposed to do with the woman? 
That's that's what the churches have created is madness. It says, uh, thy neck is like the tower of David building from the army, whereof there hang a thousand bucklers, all shields of mighty men. Thy two breasts are like two young doves, those that are twins, which feed among the living. Until the daybreak and the shadows flee away, I will get me to the mountain of myrrh and to the hill of frankincense. They are all fair, my love. Oh. There's no spot in them. So, you know, metaphorically, still, still, he, this is pretty much him thinking about a woman. It's her body and shit. You know what I'm saying? He's probably thinking, thinking about, you know, laying down a pipe. Don't do Deuteronomy 22 talk about that fair damsel. When you say something's fair, that means fine. Like, damn, she looked good in the motherfucker. You know what I mean? Look, ain't that Deuteronomy 22? Let me see. This is bad. This is stupid. I was like, I want a car, but I can't look at it. No, it don't say fair. I need to do a word search on fair. Because I can't think of an inscription off the top of my head. But obviously, man, these people are fucked out. See, that's what they... <laughs> They've castrated our men out here. They got these men believing it's not okay to look at a woman. And you wonder why there's so many homosexuals out here. That's the spirit of a homosexual. That's the spirit of Satan. Didn't the Lord tell Noah, be fruitful and multiply? How are you supposed to be fruitful and multiply? <laughs> Close your eyes and just choose any ugly ass bitch. Oh, oh. <laughs> Jacob. Remember Jacob? Jacob had two wives, right? But one of them was ugly. But he was so mad because he didn't get it. Because remember, he had to do seven years servitude to get his first wife. Was Her name was Leah, right? He had to do another seven years uh, to get with his other wife, right? Because he didn't even want the first wife originally. Because she didn't look good. He wanted the, the woman to look good. Oh, uh, look at this. The damsel was very fair to look upon. Man, there's so many scriptures. I typed in the word fair and a uh, shit ton of scriptures popped up. It said women call women fair over and over through the scriptures. I ain't going to go into all that. We can go back to something else. Because, you know, anybody come up here, if they say anything that's just just a little bit off or anything, we're going to correct them. When they say don't make a mountain out of molehill, we're going to do that. We're going to make a mountain out of molehill. Because a little leaven leavened a whole lump. Just a little bit of bullshit teaching leads to all kind of madness. So we got to correct every minuscule little point that these people make. They think it's not a big, it's a big deal. That's a big deal right there. Telling men they're not allowed to look at women. Hopefully our damn meter ain't up. Probably an hour or so. I don't even know. It ain't been that long. It's only 412. Goddamn devil, bro. We gotta put some money in the parking meter. He's just pumping quarters in the bitch and the time's not going up. You know they set the meters like that up on purpose, bro. Out here robbing people. That happens all the time, actually. You know they do that shit on purpose. You know, pay somebody to park. Only the devil would make you pay to park somewhere. Did it make you pay to live on the planet? That's how you know the white man's a devil. How they gonna make you to pay money? They make us pay money to live a planet that we're from. To live on a planet, bro. We was born here. We gotta pay you. That doesn't make any sense. Soon they gonna try to start attack. If they could, they would tax the squirrels and birds and shit. If they could. Our mothers are as widows. We have drunk in our water for wine. 
money. It says, oh, uh, wood is so much shit. They say we're taking our water for money. We actually got paid for water out here. We actually get a water bill, bro. Water, the most abundant resource on earth, costs money. If you want to get any good water, you got to go to the store and buy some water. You know what I'm saying? Get some little spring water, distilled water, whatever you get. Get a license to go fishing, bro. One of the oldest ways that man is known to get food. You know, that's some bullshit. You gotta get a license to go fishing. So you can eat and survive. Niggas was fishing in there. I think it was South Korea. They was army was taking their fishing pole and bringing out this and throwing it. The cops will shoot you here and shit. Labor and have no rest. Are right, you just working and working and working, bro? You ain't never getting ahead. It's a, it's almost impossible to survive out here. Here it is. You working every day. You know what I'm saying? Working a mo all these hours, and you you still ain't got no money, bro. Over half your money for your check from a, from a month. How do you get paid like every other week? Most people get paid what two every other week, whatever or whatever. Most of your most of your monthly earnings are going towards rent, bro. Rent be crazy out here. Rent be like what a, at least a thousand. You'd be lucky to find a place under a thousand a month. How much you paying? Six. Yeah, you get in a one bedroom apartment for six hundred. So how much is the pay how many people you know getting paid six hundred on a check? Not many. This house is five hundred dollars Get to the hood. Trash I live in Whitehall, bro. Most rent over there I see is like a it's like a thousand and up. And that's considered the hood. They say that's the hood. My goddamn. I see even that shit on the bottom. The bottoms is dirty, 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 dirty. And they still got, I still see rent for like 800, 1,000 in the hood. Like in the real hood. Like you can't even afford to live out here, bro. It's just all set up, it's all a trap. Uh, it's like that two box on, they got us trapped. They do, they got us trapped out here. All the usury, that's going to them banks. Shit, the stock market been collapsing, bro. Shit is just tumbling, spiraling. It's going down, down, down. So that's going to be beautiful. They say this is as bad as a crash back in 2008. I remember back in 2008, bro, people was trying to go to the bank to get their money out. And the banks was closed. <laughs> It'd be salty as fuck, bro. 
Then I'm about to go get this little couple of hundred dollars. And they're like, nah. They had lines around the, around the block, bro. But that could happen. These banks could collapse soon because of this coronavirus shit. Fucking, yeah, I heard like three, three major CEOs fucking resigned from the positions. I guess, like, I guess the CEO can't really take out all the money that he say whatever the fuck that's in the mind for being a CEO. I think they know something about that happening. They're trying to take all the money out and shit. I've heard the fuck that shit's going on. Man, they got cops on the coat of blood. You know that shit rough out here. They got. It's already happened. You know, you know, like, like that fucking 9 level shit, they get motherfuckers warning, like, don't go to work today. And you start seeing rich people, like, oh shit, making big moves and shit. That must mean something big by that. Well, I seen uh, on that stock market, they said uh, the rent, the wealthy have lost like $400 million the past week. I said, this is gonna keep getting worse, man. That's beautiful. That's some video. They said all the banks for this year have been lost. Yeah, because they had record gains. Now they got record losses. <laughs> so, yeah, that, says, that shit went down in a day. It went down in a day for most of every history. That thousand drop. Yeah, it was like a thousand. So. So I got to check it now. Shit. They said it's going back up. Oh, God. But that coronavirus shit is spreading. They already had two deaths in America already, right? It's on its way. It's starting. Oh, oh shit. You see that video of that nigga, uh, where was he at? Yeah, he was somewhere in America. He got quarantined, whatever. And he got let out. He tried to make an interview. He was trying to say it to everybody he's okay. <laughs> he was talking out there. He thought he was all coughing and shit. I'm good. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> he was only choking, man. That shit was funny. I should have put his ass to death. Hell oh, yeah, you dad, keep your ass and send his ass back to China. Oh shit, I don't mean to change this topic or nothing. But did you see the Oprah Winfrey video? Did you see it? Oh, you gotta look it up. Look it up on your face. This is a real short video. I was just ready to just popped in my head because I remember it was something I wanted to say today. But Oprah Winfrey, she got a video where she was giving a speech and she was talking about balance. She was giving a speech, she was wearing a long dress, she was talking about balance and equality between, you know, men. You got equality, fags or men, women, trainees, every, we're all equal. But she was talking about balance. And what, right, she, right after she said that word balance and equality, she tripped and got fucked up. She broke. She got broke, bro. She got fucked up. I knew there was something I wanted to talk about, but that's the spirit of that's, that shit. Stuff like that proves to you the Lord is real. She started talking about that balance in the Most High. He showed you that's not balanced. As soon as she fell, he's like, "No, you see that you're not balanced. That's you're un that's you off balance. That's why you fell, bitch." Oprah Winfrey's a demon. She's she been, right, she's been programming the minds of our women for years. Programming them to think all kind of evil shit. They got a video of her denying the Lord. You see that video? She tried to say that there's many paths to the Lord or whatever. There's only one path. Just wait, this is right, but it's a false balance out here. Like they're trying to say women are equal to men. That's a false balance, bro. You saw Oprah, the most high got Oprah, bro. She tried to say that shit. The most high was like, nah. But she lost her balance. You gotta watch that video, that's a good video. I'll watch that bitch like 20 times straight. Beautiful. Too bad that she ain't pop her hip out of place on that one. Yeah, Oprah Winfrey's a demon. Oh, she was good friends with Harvey Weinstein. 
Here it is, Harvey Weinstein is raping all these bitches. And now he, he just got locked up. They, they got all kind of videos and pictures of Oprah saying he's such a wonderful guy, he's such a good guy. That's how you, she raping bitches too. She's probably raping children. If one of them's doing it and their friends, they're all doing it. Just like that Jeffrey Epstein guy. He was good friends with the Clintons. He was good friends with everybody. He was good friends with all these powerful people. And if he was doing it, that means they was all doing it. Dear children, and walk in love as Jehoshaphat also had loved us and had given himself for the offering and sacrifice to the Most High for a sweet smelling savor. But fornication and all uncleanliness or covetousness, let it not be once named among you as becoming saints. Oh, fornication, I mean, adultery, homosexual, being a trainee, any of that weirdo shit, man. It's fornication. I ain't supposed to have no parts with none of that. Neither filthiness. Hey, that, what's the first word that come to your mind when you think about two thirds of Israel? Filthiness. Neither filthiness nor foolish talking. That's all you hear out of these people's mouths is foolish talking. The wisdom, wisdom and knowledge don't come out of their mouths. You ever be walking down the street and you just hear a random Jake just say a wise proverb and hear some wisdom and you're like, oh, ooh, what was that? You don't never hear that. Yeah, barely. I get one of them old hood proverbs. Neither filthiness, nor foolish talking, nor jesting, which you're not uh, jesting, you're joking. These people are goddamn jokers out here. That's an old, oh, that battery about to die. Hold up. 